Welcome to the new video guys, as I said and I promised I would bring some new cool cars to the channel, not only the Audi R3, there will be an update on that coming soon, I have to do quite some things and I have to explain also some stuff that popped up in the last 10,000 kilometers. And next to me we have the owner of, the, of this RS7 C7 model, the 560 horsepower model, who are you? Hello, I'm Mirel, I'm 27 years old and this is my Audi RS7. Yes, Mirel is one of my friends who owns this uh, RS7, so therefore I could get this onto the channel. And uh, today he will talk a bit about his car and show us the, the Audi RS7. This is the C7 facelifted model, um, pre-OPF, so the sound is still good. Uh, I know that a lot of you guys hate the sound of my RS3, I know, I hate it too, but it is what it is. And um, yeah, today we're going to go over this car and see what, how it performs, what it's like and also compare a little bit of the quality of the older C7 cars compared to, for example, the new RS3 on the interior and things, since I also complained about that. Let's take a look at the exterior of the RS7 and compare it a bit to the new one. I think all of you have seen the new one and if you look at the frontal end, I mean if you consider that all the RS7 and RS6 models from the C7 series started building in somewhere 2014 and then they had the facelift and everything in between, it's a very good looking car. Um, I like the fact that it still has the Quattro badge which has been removed in all the newer models and I kind of think that's a more like a signature look of the Audi RS models. And to be honest, compared to the new model, I still think the old model has its own oomph. I like it. It's better, I think, when it comes to, uh, I would say, f for the era, for the performance, for the price, it's better than the new version. But that's, again, my personal opinion. So we have 21-inch rims, and if you compare it with like the body of the car, does, it looks like it, it's supposed to be like this. Like It's not looking that big, even though they are. And on the front, it's also, I guess, also 21s. Yeah, it should be 21s. Yeah, also R21. So yeah, there's 21 inch rims all across the car. I think the new model has 20, has an optional 23 inch. But if you look at this, like 21 is already huge. Imagine having 23, it's ridiculous. I also still love this combination with chrome. Everyone is now doing everything in black and blacking out chrome and dechroming, but I actually prefer this kind of look, especially in this color. And again, it's a, it's a fully optioned car. Also the rear end, it has a retractable spoiler here, which comes up at a certain speed. I can't remember the exact speed. Diffuser, I think diffuser is something across all Audi models. It's a bit, how do you say it? Too conservative, they can be a bit more aggressive. So also in the previous generations, a lot of people fitted aftermarket diffusers, just like I did on my RS3 in the new one. Uh, I think it's a thing that always keeps returning. And I see that there is something which I noticed on all the C7 models. Um, you can see that the, the black coating of the exhaust tips starts to fade away and let go. And even if you repaint them, it happens again. For some reason, I don't. Uh, it has to do something with the material and the heat. Uh, I've read about it online and also RS6 owners. Basically, everyone that has an RS model from the C7 generation is complaining about this i don't think it's really a pain in the ass i mean these things are usually black from dirt anyway so you won't really see it and uh yeah it, it just depends i guess on which country you drive it in and how much in the wet in the rain and things like that but it looks very very good this is the angle that i like the most in all rs models where they have the flared wheel arches a little bit pushed out and also in the new models they only emphasize it more by giving also an additional line in the side panels which you don't have on the c7 model but nevertheless, it still looks very good. And I think that the front is very menacing. If you see this approaching you in the Autobahn from the rear mirror, yeah, you will probably move aside regardless if you know if it's an R7 or not. Because <laughs> most people, to be honest, don't even recognize RS models because they're a bit more low key in general, unless you have it in like some bright orange color or some aftermarket exhaust that makes you, you know, sound like there is an earthquake approaching you. Um, I've had that on the Autobahn in the Netherlands, where there's an R6 coming from way behind me and I still hear and fuel the engine because it was like a straight piped crazy uh, thing. But regardless, the lines on this car are amazing, especially considering that all these models have been designed so long ago. Uh, well, long in terms of car world things, it is a long period of time. The thing that I wanted in the 
RS3 is a carbon inlay here. I have high gloss black. There is no option to order it with anything else than high gloss black. You can only get like aluminium trim on the sides in the RS3 and also in the new RS6 and RS7. Here you still had the option for full carbon, which is way less scratch sensitive and looks way, way, way better in my opinion. Especially the door inlays as well. These are in carbon when you take the carbon package. This is not the case with the RS3 or the other um, newer RS models. I think the RSQ8 and RS6 and 7 do provide it, but the RS5 and RS3, RS4, as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, don't provide this gloss carbon and in the older or in the newer versions you have the matte carbon i have the matte carbon in my car but something that i do find very interesting audi told us or told me and also other people that you cannot order a flat bottom steering wheel on the new rs models if you have the autonomous driving package now in the old models this apparently is possible so for some reason there is some kind of design change or whatever their idea was behind this in order to not include it anymore. I don't know why, I hated it and the fact that you can also not retrofit it afterwards without sacrificing autonomous driving is absolutely ridiculous. Seat wise, still the same good comfortable hugging seats that we are used to from Audi. This one's in full leather with again the red stitching. It's very nice and still compared to newer cars very up to date including all the interior materials there is no cheap hard soft plastic or hard plastic being used all of these plastics are the quality softer plastics which is way better for the durability in the long term so again um, very impressed with the interior and also the fact that it has red um, uh, how do you say it seat belts from audi is amazing all these things have been removed in newer models don't know why Let's ask Mido a couple of questions regarding his car. I'm very curious on a couple of things. And I think that the number one, I would say the number one thing, uh, first question of this list would be, is how long you have had the car until now? Yeah, um, I bought the car end of July 22. So I have had the car one year and one month now. Nice. Why did you decide to get an RS7? Is there any specific reason for it? You, what is your use case to get this car? <laughs> yeah, um, I, I'm an Audi fan since I was young and since the release the Audi RS7 has always been my favorite Audi because it has something special. Um, I like the design and the look and uh, yeah it's, it's unique in my view. Yeah, I agree with you. It's like a, a limousine uh, sport back with so many horsepowers. Exactly. It's, it's, I like it as well. It's very unique indeed. And I st still think that there's not a lot of competitors to the RS7 when it comes to the looks. Um, maybe the older version of the Mercedes CLS, which is also very beloved amongst car uh, petrol heads, car lovers, however you want to call it. Um, but indeed, I really agree that it's one of the better looking models. So in this year and one month, what do you like the most about this car? First of all, it's of course the power and the sound. But I think it's uh, it's the combination of many factors. Uh, like it's it's a uh, you can have a sports car with 560 uh, horsepowers, yeah. but at the same time. Um, because of the sides of the car, mm -hmm. it can also be a daily driver yeah. or even uh, a family car. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's a combination of daily practicality as well as a sport car. Yes. Uh, this is also one of the reasons why I purchased my RS3, also because it's an all around package that I can use every single day. Uh, so I really like that. What do you hate the most of the car? Every car has something, probably. At least I think so. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, to be honest, there aren't many things I hate about this car, mm -hmm. but um, the one thing I'm missing in this car is the sunroof. Ah, 
Ah, yeah, yeah. the panel, the small, uh, indeed, the small sunroof is not there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have any problems with the car since you've owned it? And if so, what what kind of problems did you have? To be honest, <laughs> I haven't had any problems. Any technical problems? That's mm. that's good news. And uh, overall, I've also done some research on the C7 uh, series. I I think once in three or four months I have to uh, refill the oil yeah. but that's it yeah, that's and normal. that's a sports car and it's normal yeah. normal yeah did you do any modif modifications on the car or did any of the previous owners do any modifications and uh, not yet uh, the car is the same I bought it okay um, but I'm planning to do so okay um, yeah what what do you have in mind as a first modification <laughs> Um, yeah, there are a few things. Uh, the first thing I want to modify is uh, I want to put on the distance disc. Ah, yeah, yeah, the sensors, yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes, and then I want, as you mentioned before, you like it, uh, you like the silver pieces. Uh, <laughs> I want to color them in black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, funny. personal preference. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I am having it uh, like this right now, mm -hmm. you know, um, but later uh, I want uh, a little bit of change. Okay. So I want uh, all the silver pieces uh, co colored in black and yeah, so that at the end you have only the Daytona gray and black color. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, you're gonna modify the colors and everything to your yeah. own uh, to your own. Oh, yeah. Taste. Okay, that's the first. Uh, that's the second thing. And the third thing, yeah. I want to change the diffuser, as ah. you also mentioned before. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit uh, lame. Too normal. Yeah, yeah too yeah. normal. And m later in the future, uh, I want to may maybe I want to change the exhaust system. Okay. To even get more sound out of yes. it. Yes. Okay, brutal. Yeah. And yeah, we will see. A good set of mods planned yeah, for. Yeah, but uh, step by step. Yeah, exactly, step by step. But Is this your dream car or do you have a dream car that you still looking forward to? For sure, it's uh, one of my dream cars. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, maybe if I had the chance, uh, I would buy a Lamborghini Huracan, for example. But there are many cars I, I uh, like. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but it's it's uh, for sure it's one of my dream cars. Yeah, I think all the petrol heads don't really have one particular car. There's always one you have more love for, but there's uh, in general everyone wants to have has like a top three or top five of cars that they would like to own. That's just absolutely ridiculous how that car sounds. These older car generations, older C7 generation Audis, holy shit, man. The sound is ridiculous compared to these newer ones. I might uh, change my mind on the RSQ8 and get like an older version RS6 or something because this is just stupid. This is just stupid fast. This just brings a smile to my face. I fucking love it. <laughs> Thank you for coming out today um, for sharing this eight cylinder symphony with us. Um, I'm very pleased that you had some time for me today to make this video. Of course, everyone is busy in Switzerland. Is there anything you want to add? Uh, you're welcome and uh, I enjoyed it as well. Very good. Maybe we see him in other videos popping up as well regarding the RS7 in the future. Who knows? Let us know in the comments what you think of the car and if you want to see more content of this car, of course. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Ciao.